Um, it is truly a pleasure for us to be here once again. And like my brother said, Peter, um, we have a new album out, and out of any country, it just happens to be that Kenya will be the first country that will perform our new album. I don't know why Kenya is so lucky, but <laughs> but you guys will be the first country in Africa to hear the album. So um, we're excited about it. The name of the album is called Strictly Roots. Uh, along with the, the album, we released the album um, earlier this year on our own label called Cool to the Conscious <coughs> Group. And not only that it is a, a label, but it is a movement letting kids around the world know that it's okay to be conscious. It's okay to be conscious because a lot of times in communities, especially underprivileged and black communities around the world, everybody feels they have to be a bad guy or, or a cool guy or, or, or a clown. And we, we want people to know that it, it is very, there's nothing wrong with aiming to be a doctor. We find that there's a consciousness in that. There's nothing wrong with trying, aiming to be a lawyer or a pastor or somebody that is influential in the community. And that is one of the main objectives of our new label, Cool to the Conscious Music Group. And we're letting the kids know that the new cool is being conscious. And when we say conscious, it don't mean necessarily mean religious, because we don't want to mix um, religion with being awake, being aware, and being awake, and being conscious. So the Cool to the Conscious Music Group is very happy about this new album and the messages in this new album, because many times, uh, Reggae and dance all get a bad rap, you know, because sometimes the message that comes across in it. But we want people to know that it's two different genres of music. Reggae is reggae, and dance hall is dance hall. Dance hall speaks about the suffering in the inner, inner city and the communities and, and, and talks about it's It's like hip hop to America. In America, you wouldn't look at Michael Jackson and say he's a hip hop artist. So we want to make the, uh, differentiate the difference between reggae and dance hall. So it's the whole movement of cool to be conscious. So we're really excited about even going down to that um, fair ground there and talk with the kids and just just inspire them and let them know that it's okay to be conscious. There's nothing wrong with that. And you don't have to be silly to, to prove a point and follow the crowd that's going in the wrong direction. And this is one of the missions of our family. Um, that even we brought our my, my son, Jameer Morgan, to, 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 to bring across that movement that he's bringing up a conscious message but it's not something that we're telling people to go and join churches but just be aware of what you're doing there's two forces that run the world the good are evil so we're just saying be good that's all we're saying you know so the new cool is being conscious so get used to it used to it when you hear me say ctbc it means cool to be conscious and then we will spread it throughout africa so we're excited to be here Thank you, Extravaganza and True Black for an amazing welcome from last night and your hospitality and your love and uh, showing the professionalism as promoters. It's very important and when we see professionalism like this, it makes artists from all over the world, not just from Jamaica, want to come to Africa. So keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for having us. <coughs> I'd like to thank you for the most memorable thing for me last uh, one of the most memorable things for us last time, Grant and I, we came here on a, a, a charity event with our sister Anne Marie. Um, and she took us to her hometown. Um, and we had lunch on Lake Victoria. And we went to um, one of the national parks. And we got a chance to really see Kenya, not from the sky, but from the road. And you know, we were told that we were going to have a two-hour drive that turned into a seven-hour drive, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it was great. It was great to see the, the countryside of Kenya and just to go through the communities from where she, the, the town from where she came and just, just being able to, because we get to go to a lot of places in the world, but we don't really get to see the places, you know, so just to be able to move around through the country of Kenya and know the different places other than just Nairobi and Mombasa, it was a joy for us. So it's good to be home, it's good to be here. Um, I hope to see everyone at the concert. I hope to do a little school, visit or anything, just to touch the youth. It's 
spread the message to them like my father said. I'm supposed to be conscious. Have fun. Have fun with your life. Enjoy your youth. Don't rush to grow up. You know? Stay young and we have we have many years to be like Uncle Pete and you know, Daddy and Mommy and everyone. But enjoy your youth because when you get older, you know, that moves fast. Well, my whole message is that supposed to be conscious. Stay young, have fun. I hope to touch the news of the concert <coughs> October 3rd at KC, KICC, I believe. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Oh, I'm